I recently bought some green drone comb on a beekeeping website and I wanted to answer a quick question that I think that might come up in the near future on my beekeeping channel. So the legitimate reason why beekeepers use green drone comb is to kill mites because mites prefer the drone cells because they take 24 days to hatch but workers only take 21 days to hatch so the mites have the advantage there. So my reason for using these and putting them in my colony is not to kill drones but to rear drones for my queen rearing operation this year. So maybe beekeepers will use these for that method but a lot I'll be here to use them for the original method is to kill mites. But sometimes people overlook the reason for using these because a lot of times what bees will do, if you don't provide a green drone comb in the hive, then what will happen is they'll, if you put like worker foundation in the hive, then they'll start, they'll find a way to take that and put it into a drone cell because they have to have some drones in there. That's what they like to do in spring. So adding one of these can give you an advantage so they won't do all that wacky comb and stuff because I definitely have some in my house because, you know, it's just what bees do. I haven't provided bees, but now I have some, I'm going to provide some. My reason for doing it is to raise queens, like I just said, because whenever you're raising queens, you need a lot of drones. But one thing to doing that, you want to have a drone flooding yard. Queens will usually go farther than drones if you ha have them set in one yard, because the queens don't want to mate with their brothers. So you definitely have a disadvantage there. So having two yards, a drone flooding yard, in your original yard with your queens will definitely give you an advantage to hopefully get a mating queen because mating is one of the biggest things in having a good laying queen. If your queen only mates with one drone then you probably won't have a good queen. If you have a queen that mates with one drone what will happen is she'll lay good and then she'll eventually not be a good queen or a good layer then you have to kill her and make a new queen and hope that she gets mated good. So that's just a good idea there. Brood? There's one drone down there. There's not much, there's not much drones. I want to put this uh, drone brood right in the center where I think the queen's working. Oh wow, look at that. We got some drone brood down here. Let's get drone brood. See? Got some drones. And she's lining up some drones. Good. Okay, here we go. Got a queen. There's a the queen, everybody. I couldn't find her for a little bit, but there she is. There's a the queen. See her? There's our queen. First up close shot, queen. Okay. Well, I know where my queen is. She's right here. So I just ordered these green drone combs. Now, maybe you're thinking, what I know you're thinking is I'm gonna use this for killing mites, you know, like, traditionally kind of without treatments, but no, this is actually for raising drones. I want to let the drones hatch out of here because I need some more drones. And this is the hive I want to raise drones out of. We're gonna let them draw that out. Another question that many beekeepers will ask anybody is how many green drone combs should you put in the hive and how many hives should you have to have green drone combs in it? So I think that question depends on how many queens you're raising. If you're raising 40 queens, you probably only need a couple hives with one green drone comb in it. If you're raising 100 queens, you probably want a dozen hives with green drone combs in it. If you're raising 100 plus, you probably want more hives so your queens will have a good drone mating. Like I was saying, queens go farther than drones, so you want to make sure you have a drone flooding yard for that. So that's something to take in consideration.